Have you been trying to figure out how to connect this to your smartphone? Well today I'm going to show you how. You've started your adventure. Now you have a story to tell. But how? This is your show, RV Media Creators. I'm Garrett and in this community we will show you how. So let's show the world your story. Audio is one of those things when you're making videos that is key. You could have great video, but if the audio is terrible, it makes it really hard to watch and to really enjoy the video that you're preparing. Normally with like DSLR cameras and higher end cameras, they have a 3.5 millimeter jack that plugs into your shotgun microphone or whatever kind of microphone you're using. Now with cell phones, they normally have the microphone port put into the 3.5 millimeter jack that looks like that. Now the problem is this is different than this itself right here. So you're probably asking yourself, well, how does that connect to my phone, which does not have a port? Well, there's two very key pieces of adapters that you need to get. The first one I want to talk about is the Rode TRS to TRRS adapter. I tried a different type of adapter and it didn't really work very well for me. So I did some more research and found this Rode microphone. I've had really good experiences with Rode as a microphone and as an audio company so I felt very comfortable picking this up and then the second piece that you need and this is especially for the newer iPhones or anything iPhone 7 or above I'm shooting this on a 7 plus so I do not have a headphone jack that I could just plug this into you will need a 3.5 millimeter audio jack here. Now this also has the ability to charge my phone while I'm videotaping. That allows me to do like long live streams or you know charge my phone while I'm doing videos and that's pretty cool. Now you might be asking yourself why do I need this adapter? Don't they just plug in? Well there's two main differences that you'll want to consider. One being the the terminology this right here is what is called a TRS so it stands for tip ring and sleeve now with the advancement of headphones and microphones being put into headphones they needed to add another ring onto this 3.5 millimeter jack to be able to provide you with that extra capability. Well, that kind of ran into a problem because more expensive microphones, not saying this is super expensive, but like this microphone and the microphone I'm using now, they only have the TRS adapter. Now, when you're looking for a TRRS adapter like this, you wanna make sure that it's compatible with your phone. There's two different standards. I'm not really going to go into them. What you need to look for is either something that says compatible with Apple or Android or on this it says compatible with most phones. They are making these adapters specifically for connecting higher quality microphones to your camera. I wanted to show you a difference in audio from this microphone that you're hearing now to the regular microphone that you're hearing if you were just using your phone. Now there are different types of microphones based off of your the type of phone that you have so you know th there might be some phones that have a better microphone than this but most of them are not going to come to the quality that you will get from like a shotgun or a lavalier mic. Let me show you what it sounds like without the microphone plugged in. 
Now you are hearing me from the microphone on my iPhone 7. You'll notice that it might be a little quieter. I've not adjusted the audio whatsoever from any of the clips. So what you are hearing is directly from the phone. Having the ability to have much cleaner and much crisper audio is really going to help people understand you. There is really going to help people enjoy your videos a whole lot more because they're not going to be thinking about, oh man, how this audio is terrible. I can't even hear what they're saying. I have seen a lot of YouTube channels. I mean, and it's, it's really kind of a rookie mistake and it's something that's really easy to learn from. Having your audio really low and then putting some music over that really drowns out your audio and it makes it so you cannot enjoy the video because I can't even hear what they're saying but then if I turn it way up the music is just so loud I've even made the mistake myself in some of my older videos so don't think that I have not done the same thing if you have any questions leave it in the comments and I will definitely get back to you if you are doing a lot of video with your phones I would definitely consider getting something like this and a microphone, shotgun microphone or something. It does not have to be super expensive. There are some very inexpensive shotgun microphones or lavaliers that you can get that will up the quality of your video and not really break the bank. I'll leave a link for a couple different items in the description so you can go see if any of those work for you. Check out my other video on the DJI Osmo Mobile 2. Having a very stable image using this gimbal is another way to up the quality of your video. It takes a lot of the shake that you might have by holding your camera in your hands. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And remember, I'm Garrett, and I want to help you tell your story. Bye.